So by popular demand, we're going to go a bit more technical with this video. We're going to go in depth on a method, which we haven't done for a while since we were filming the, the Vimeo range of the, the, mm. the videos that we did when we focus on specific methods at specific venues. And that's what we're going to do today. I mean, we're going to come out on the bank and with it being nice and winter and got a little bit tricky, we're going to do a little bit of maggot feed division or Andy is, and I'm just going to But it's shout. weird, isn't it, for you? Just sitting, sitting. You, do, you want to be fishing, it's mate, don't well, you? As we're, we're currently mid-lockdown, aren't we? Yes. So I'm flipping desperate to do some fishing, but no, it's nice. It's quite nice just to be out, isn't it? And even nice to get a few bites. Well, yeah, we it's just want to go through. Do you mean how, how Andy's going to fish his maggot feeder, the sort of things he's looking for, the... Touching on a rig a little bit, although we've already done a rig video for the yes. um, rig video for the rig he's using today. So if you want to look at that real, real in depth, it'll save a bit of time on this one. We're not going to focus on that one. But yeah, we just want to have a little run through of the little things that the does to catch some fish with a maggot feeder, isn't it? Because it, it is mega at this time of year, isn't it? It's amazing. Obviously, you know the baits have we touched on before as well, Jay. Maggots going to catch absolutely everything swimming. Um, you know, presentation-wise, especially with these feed as well, with the weight forward, you can get them so accurate as well. Yeah. So you're building that accumulation of bait up in that little area. So um, it's, it's the only way of feeding maggots at range, isn't it? Dist yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah. Proper um, range, isn't it? Pro yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, and it's just, it's working out what's best for the fish on the day. Usually, the one in that bit of a movement. So you'll see every sort of 30 seconds to a minute, maybe, I'll be giving it a little twitch you know, sort of like two to six inch twitch on the bottom. Yeah. And that's usually when you get your bites. Other days, it's a case of putting a longer up length on, chucking it in and just waiting for them, you know, maybe catching fish on the drop. Yeah. Uh, I, I, always, I agree that I always find it a, an active method. It's not like no. many forms of feeder fishing where you chuck it and you be patient. No, definitely. Maggot feeder is, your bites come quick. Yeah, You definitely. don't sit and wait for bites. But, but that, that's going into it a bit. Firstly, where are you going to fish it? So I'm fishing towards you. I've got two two silver birches that I'm aiming at, Jay. Expertly yeah. casting right in between them. <laughs> I like really that. <laughs> I may or may not have gone a bit wayward on, on yes. the cast before. Uh, but yeah, so I, I've started off, what we're saying, Joe, I started off probably, what, three metres off it, didn't I? Yeah, you want to go to an island. I want to I I go towards an island. I don't want to go like in the open water where today obviously it lend its hand to like Wagler. If it were open water, would you fish maggot for you? Depends. Obviously, if there's a lot of silvers in there, yeah, I'm going to go down the maggot feeder route. Would you? But if it was if it was windy, yeah, I think I would. If it was like more carpy, then I'd probably just you know lob a bomb, comb a bomb and bread or something out yeah. there. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't. I don't think maggot feeder. Lend, I mean, don't get me wrong. You're going to catch carp on a maggot feeder. Yeah. Uh, but they don't really want feed, do they? No. Carp this time I'd say, of year. say what I'm more getting at is, if it were open water and the island didn't exist, yeah, I'd only go down the waggler route. Mate, I like it. Do you know what I mean? As long as wind allowed, isn't it? that'd be the only dictator the, the, for the magnet. Yeah, so for me, I was, it's always. I was, was going to say, if, the worst thing, as you, as you know, with that waggle, if you're not getting your bait accurate enough, Kingfisher! Yeah. If you're not getting your bait accurate enough, um, then it just reels the waggle out. Yeah, that's Unless when the fish are really it. active, you're just not going to get it. Yeah. Whereas obviously with the maggot feeder, as I say, you can get it in that same spot. Yes. Time and time but it had always come second for me in that. So I don't know about you, a maggot feeder for me is 90% of the time. Yeah. It's chucking to an island. Yeah, definitely. I'll always do it against the feature of thinking about it. It's very rare open water. Not that I can think of at many venues. No, definitely. Uh, mm. So there, Jay. So, so I'm gonna give it a little dink under the water first. And what yes, that'll do, that that'll for? keep keep the maggots in the feeder. Yeah, boy, a bit more um, weight. Now this bit's a little bit different, what I'm doing as well, Jay. So I'm literally letting that settle. I'm not sinking the line. I'm gonna give it a twitch. I'm straightening the hook length out from the feeder. Yeah. And I'm not bothered about all that line floating. Obviously, there's things you can do to sink the line. Because these bites, what happens, folks, they come really quick. Often, just as soon as you've cast it in, you'll get them little twitches on the drop. Uh, and trust me, they'll, they'll show up on this, you know, when they take that uh, when they take that bait, you'll soon see them on your tip. But what I want to be doing, as soon as that's settled, 30 seconds to a minute, and that's when I'm going to start giving it them little twitches. Usually, your bites come just after them little twitches. As I say, I'm, I'm not bothered about that bow in the line. In fact, it often helps when you have got a bit of a side wind, Jay, it'll sink it a lot quicker yeah, anyway. Yeah, a bit of a riffle always helps get your line yeah, on there, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. With them twitches you're doing, both to make your uh, your hook length waft about a bit, your hook bait waft about a bit. Yep. Do you think it's also helping empty your feeder? Definitely. Yeah, mm. definitely. with a maggot feeder, it's it's a line of bait, isn't it? It's never a little yeah. pile of bait. No. You're creating a good area, which is what you want with maggots anyway, isn't it? A big yeah, of spread. course it is. You, you don't want them all on top of themselves. So you've probably got, you, you've got your limits of where you're chucking, where a bit of bait's coming out 
on the descent, on yeah. the splash when it's settled. Yeah. But you've probably got a, what, what are you going to say, a metre to two metres towards us? You got a bit of bait? Yeah, eventually. definitely. I mean, you, you, there's, there's no no limit to it, but obviously if you keep twitching it, there's no bait there. It's, it's pointless fishing in it. So yeah, I'd definitely say a good, certainly a good metre and a half, two yeah, metres. Yeah, definitely. definitely. You've got a good old area, which with maggots is what you want, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. A spread of bait so you can catch fish off different it's not just one cast you've got a window of movement mm. where you're likely to get bites that kingfish is all over kingfish. the show and isn't he? i think there's another one there isn't there yeah uh, and you touched on it before as well jay frequency of casting uh, you've got to be busy on this it's i mean obviously it's winter like going down the carp route you might have a three cast an hour or summer yeah with a maggot feeder i don't really want to let five minutes go by without bringing it back and chucking it in again mm. it might even get even quicker than that it might be 90 seconds two minutes if i'm you know getting the fish through the water um it's just all dependent on the day yeah um so you what, know. what are we going on now hook length wise hook how, length. how big's hook length we've got a two foot hook length on at the minute um two foot yeah two foot i mean normally i'd start off on like a three foot one but having fished this water quite a few times i know that the fish you know, they, they, they do attack it pretty quick, so that's why I've got a short one on there. Oh. Was it a liner? It was a liner! <laughs> we done miss proper bites, it was a liner. That might have been a big it was carp, good enough, that. wasn't it? I reckon it was. There's right? been a few carp about, a few brushing, haven't we? Yeah. So it was a bit of an indication, though, a bit of a sign there. Uh, so yeah, two, two foot up length. Um, oh, it's burgled a maggot. Can't get away with a liner, folks. It's burgled a maggot. <laughs> yeah. It's a thingy. Um, I noticed we have hook as well. Yeah. You got a massive one on, or what? It's not massive hook, Jamie. You know I mean? How dare it's, you? Yeah, it's very it big for maggoty, wintry type fishing, isn't it? What have you got? Sixteen. I've got a sixteens, and I'm going to say it's a, a nine eleven F one. It's not like a a proper nine. Can you get zo zoomed? You get zoomed in on that ridge. It's not like a proper nine eleven F one one because it's still fairly light, um, and it's one it? of them. Obviously, with double maggot, and you can with the silvers and that. When you take that bait in with a smaller hook. I just think you, you lose loads, and obviously, with obviously, so it it's helps a lot more as well. But of yeah, a definitely bit of a bolty thing, the bigger they stay the on, don't they? Yeah, they stay on. Uh, and obviously, likes of pole fishing, you've got the shock absorption of the elastic. Obviously, on the rod, you've noticed a lot. That was that oh, lining you just had. It's uh, it's yeah. a lot harsher, so that's why you, you can get away with uh, with a bigger hook. Uh, yeah, coming back to hook lens, two foot because they attack it pretty quick here, or they have been doing. That's why I use um, a short hook lens to get the bites a lot quicker. That but, two foot, you'd be your shortest. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't come any shorter than that. Um, but if I was noticing, obviously, you know, getting a lot of bites or quicker bites on the drop, then that's when I'd increase to like a three or even a four foot one. You mm. know what I mean? It can make a massive difference. And floaty maggots as well. Some floaty maggots in there, Rich, getting them, they can make. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I missed the bite, them, Rich, looking at you. You're getting in on them, mate. Now, obviously, that's just in lake water. If you wanted to get them floating a lot better, fizzy pop, innit? it? Get on a monster, fizzy pop, Jay. <laughs> monster, you can't give them a monster, they'll got be racing got around your tub like lunatic. Monster or Red Bull, mate, you want to get on it? I feel like our little ass a tube of smarties <laughs> bounce around me flipping out. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it, it does make, a, it does make yeah. a difference. And, you know, putting floating maggots on can make a difference as well, because you get that, like, neutral sort of buoyancy effect as well. I think it just slows that. They, they, it doesn't pop up, but it slows the descent of your bait nice, so they've got a chance to grab it. And when you waft it, when you're twitching it, you think it wafts a bit more with a floaty yeah. one on. Hundred percent. Yeah, it makes it a bit sexy. 100%. I want to see that go around. I should have my goggles on. But... Oh, we've had we've had a little twitch. I mean, that that that's worth mentioning as well, Jay. So that little twitch, that might be all you'll get sometimes. Um, you've, you've, if I come back this time and obviously I've only had that twitch and I've got a two maggot, then I'll know to strike at them next time. If that makes sense. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Because it, you know, it's not like cart bites where you rods just well, they can be. Where your rods are going to, your tips are going to fly around. Some of these can be like little, proper little twitchy bites, especially if it's roach in that that you're yeah, after. Yeah, could be all sorts. What, what would you do, right? So we've had what now, three or four casts of an indication. Yeah. What would you do if nothing happens? If nothing happens to me, uh, obviously I'm tucking to an island. First things, I'd, I'd probably go a little bit closer to the island if I had the depth. If I didn't have the depth, then that to me tells me that. So you, you wouldn't. Yeah, boy! Never start straight on the island, always start no, off it. No, always start like off it. Like you would with a pole. Um, so if I wasn't getting uh, indications and it was sh shallower, then I'd want to come down into deeper water, Jay. I right. wouldn't necessarily chase him to an island if it was shallower. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so. But if I was, and then, then yeah, obviously if it was a little bit warm, you'd want to get as close to the island as possible. Because yeah. that's where the chubs would live. I reckon this. Are we saying big eyed or skimmer, Jay? I'm going for an eyed again, I think. I may. It's fighting like a... I'm going to say skimmer. Are oh, you going with skim bob? I am. And this is the beauty of this method, folks. It's 
Where is it? It's probably number three on my all-time favourite things ever to do. <laughs> uh, you're going to catch everything on it. It's just, it's a brilliant way. It might, mate, imagine if it's an instant win. Oh, <laughs> it might be. If it pops up now and it's orange, what we're saying, what we're saying, what we're saying. No, I'm not feeling skimmer, no instant. It? It's too lively. Yeah, it's too lively for that. What we're saying. Oh, it's, it's an eye. Do you want the eyes? I thought I was skimming all the way back. Look at the size of them, no, Jay. Right, I want to catch that. I didn't realise it was Look. <laughs> Mate, the second bestest fish in the world on the third bestest method in the world. <laughs> Look at the size of that. The proper ones, them, aren't they? It's oh. almost more well, like... Do we a, caught them on a pole, sure. It's almost more like a blue wolf than an idol. It is a bit of a pasty one, isn't it? You're getting done on it, Rich. <laughs> Oh, mate, right, just stop talking and let me concentrate, Jay. How good are them, though, mate? You know what I mean? You can, so you can see. It's a proper feed a fish, that, isn't it? It's just. Oh, and that, 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 was on the, that was on the red as well. You normally catch them on whites. Do you? What are you at? But I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. <laughs> that's two indications on reds. But yeah, uh, maggot colour, I think that's worth mentioning as well, Jay. Um, you know, everyone's got their own personal thought process, but I just love having some lighter maggots mixed in, mm. especially whites in like the clearer water this time of year. I or even got some yellows. The same bait sort of thing. Got some yellows and everything. Got a right mixture in there. Got some discos on the go. Proper ones. But yeah, it's, it's confidence. We, we say it all the time, Jay, don't we? Yes. It's all about having that confidence. Um, so yeah, I'm filling it. I'm not, well, after three quarters, I'm not putting loads of bait in. Yeah. I'm going to put loads of bait in there. Go, going back to thingy, going Go on, back to, to changes and what had happened. I'm going through if, changes. If, if you chucked, say you've had 10 casts. <laughs> yeah. And you still not had a bite. Yeah. I, I don't know about you, I feel that it, it's a method that I have to come off. It's not a method that they like rock up on. It's a, you, you always no. get quite an instant response on the our maggot feeder, don't you, within yeah. A quick few casts. Oh, see, there's one on it straight away there, then. Was it? That an indication straight yeah, away? Yeah, yeah, So we'll give it a bit of encouragement. Oh. So would you ever have, like, multiple lines or anything like that with it? That was on... Uh, I don't know. Oh, look at these horrible things coming in. Uh, no, I don't think I would, because you're spreading your bait too much then, Jay. Yeah. I think it's the accumulation of uh, that bait going in does make a difference. Yeah, because yeah, you're fishing touched. it to a feature, it's always one line. Yeah. If they have it, great, and if not, come off it, just they're not there. No, definitely. But then it's weird, like how we can like feed that waggler swim up for so long, keep that bait going and go on that, uh, and then catch on it straight away. It's just, I suppose, it's different presentation, though, isn't it? Yeah, at Fingy, you know I mean? on really windy days, at, it's at Hampton that I've done it. When I'm fishing waggler and you can't get there in a catty, is that so that then as it went in? Oh, come on, on? now. No, he's fell off. Yeah, I'll often use the, a maggot feeder, only gets you an odd bite, but a waggler works really well. But you've got to fish it past your catapult range. So I used the maggot feeder to feed me peg. All oh, right, okay. You know what I mean? I have like five quick casts on a maggot feeder. Yeah. And then swap to a waggler and have like 20 casts over the top. Because there's no way you can get the distance with a waggler. Because you can't get your bait there, yeah? Yeah, I like that, mate. I like that. Yeah, it's a, it, that, that's your like bomb and pellet waggler is a combination type method. Waggler and maggot feeder can, can work just as well, can't it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. There's odd fish coming into that now, Jay. Yeah, that's... Two, um, two chucks. Whether you're getting bites that quick, if that yeah. kept happening, yeah. would you put a big up length on? Uh, I'd put a longer up length on. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Go longer. Just potentially to go to... Uh, give them a bit more chance to grab it on the way down. Yeah, potentially floating maggots. The other thing that would work really well, but you can't obviously uh, get too preoccupied with it, is tucking a bomb over it. Instant bites on a bomb. Well, yeah, Because obviously you, they're coming to the noise, bit. but there's nothing there but your bait. Smash into it dead quick. Yeah. But you can only have three or four goes with it. You know what I mean? But cast it in a lot regular, you know, 90 seconds to two minutes. Yes. Because ultimately they are looking for that, that food. That's why they come to the noise. Mm. Uh, but obviously there's nothing there. So once you've had two or three fish in it, I'm going to say, Jay, they will get wised up to it. Yeah. So you've got to go back to a little feeder, just yeah. get some bait in. Yeah, you that can make a difference. In. How you got it shot at, um, shot at. How you got it set up now, so you got it running? Yeah. Would you have it fixed? If you're allowed, I'd, I'd, I'd personally, I prefer to have it fixed, Jay, if you're allowed. Yeah, just but, whack another yeah. float stop above it. Definitely. Set it up in the same way. Um, yeah, um, th there's loads of different ways of setting it up, but yeah, pat the traditional way of patting Oster fishing with that boom on, uh, yeah. yeah, that's my that's my favourite all time that, way of I'm fishing it. Just for the tiny bit of additional bolt effect, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Definitely helps. If you're allowed to do it, definitely, it makes a big difference. But obviously, most commercials you're not really allowed. I suppose they relax the reels a little bit in the winter, though, don't they? A lot of these commercials, Jay. 
you know what I mean? And that the uh, the allow you to use a pattern. Oh, was he on? Yeah, I don't, Jay, I don't, don't know. look at I, me like that. I'm like, what's he seeing the kingfish? I've, I've got no goggles move? on. Uh, who knows what's happening? To Honestly, you no can't even on. see down there. You can't see. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> Come on there. So yeah, so I'm gonna give it another. What we're saying? Probably another minute. I, I said I don't want to go five minutes without casting. If you, oh, that was on that movement, and he's not on. <laughs> that looked like a proper bite, don't you, me? Little tiny ones. Little. Ooh, right, I'm gonna put floaty maggots on. Oh, yeah. See if that makes a difference, yeah. Well, let's have a quick change to floaty maggots. I'm like, I'm getting excited now. You're getting kicked off that so box in a good. minute. So good. I just it, this. It's, it's active though, Jay, isn't it? You know what yes. I mean? It's, that's what the beauty of this time of year and maggot fishing. Well, I think you've got to be. Eh? It's I can't handle stationary matches where you just ledger in for four or five bites at this time of year. Oh, yeah. Maybe on the really nasty days when you want to curl up under your, he under can. your brolly. Ah, oh, cameraman can, can't he, Jay? You know Lee, what I mean? Well, five hours to him is like a bacon blink on. of the eye, isn't it? It's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, them wallies that go out with them bite alarms, they're out for days at a time and not expected a bite Re for the, at least two of them. Remote control bleepers and all that? Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit it's way it's busy, isn't it? I, yeah, I, it's lovely. You feel like you're creating something, you're going to make something happen oh. by the splashing. Uh, I'm loving so them on the set. Instant change to floating maggots then, folks. <laughs> and he's had it. You're loving that, Jay? I like it even more if it's a chub. It's going to be a chub, isn't it? Are you feeling it? Mate, I reckon it is. <laughs> We've had the second best fish in the world on the third best wear fishing ever. We might have the first best fish in the world on the third best wear fishing ever. Is it? No, it's not a chub. Is it? It's not Trust me, enough. it'd be in your lilies if it was a chub. Are they? Are they nuts, are they? Oh, are they? mate, they're ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know, they, they don't really fight all the way back, and then as soon as they see these reeds or you keep net somewhere, that's it. They They've they? gone for it. But that instant change to floaty maggots then, Jay. Mm. That's had it on the drop on it. It might be, you know. It might be. Are we feeling it? Come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> Yes, yes, come on! Is he a chub? He is! Is he? No, he's, he's an eye! <laughs> oh, I got him kidding then, but it's an eye, but he's still second best fish in the world. You see how it's like popped up and went angry? Yeah, he did feet? a little, just like. I thought that was like instant chub, but they're lovely, them, aren't they? Yes. They're proper. They didn't really pound a piece, aren't they? They're not, they're, not, they're not being caught, Jay. Like, the lads who fish these kind of waters, obviously, you know, they're, they're just targeting. Um, the, the carp or you know the barb, there's a lot of barbel in here and these silverfish obviously a lot of venues we go to this time of year they get overlooked don't they yeah well, the size of them as well flipping heck you catch six of them and that's a carp isn't it mate <laughs> no jamie it's an eyed but yeah but, i know what you mean but you know what i mean it's six of them's the equivalent to a carp <laughs> it's just i just oh mate i love it i love it like one i want to see one more on the floaty maggot red floaty I maggots like i should that. be on that black floaty been... maggots Rather information packed. So if I get another like really quick bite, then obviously it might be worth changing to a longer hook length as well. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. But obviously it's don't... being consistent, isn't it? You've had three. Yeah. In don't... four chucks that have had it on the settle. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I thought I was going to go then. Then. Uh, but yeah, obviously if you're catching on summer, don't... there you There's, go. Isn't it? Oh, go on the floaty magawas. You loving it, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's. In, the, in that tiny little Instant short space change. of time, a little change like that by yeah. you changing because you're seeing something in a care. Yeah, definitely. And you've gone from missing a couple of bites on sinky maggots yeah. to two and two chucks or who knows how many. And I think I th that's why, obviously, it's just that, that buoyancy, isn't it? That sort of neutral buoyancy effect. Mm. I don't know what this is. I reckon it's a bigger eye. It looks a bit bigger, doesn't it? There's a bit more bendage. Mmm. I'm going hybrid. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go eyed again. No, it's an eyed. I'd love eyed. it to be a chubs. It's not a chub, mate. It'd be in them lilies if it was a chub. Go on mate, the eyes! The size of them, the size of them now. So I reckon that first one we had was a, a blue wolf. Because oh, look yeah. at the colour, look at the colour difference yeah, possibly, on that. Yeah, he had no ginger fins, did he? Had no orangey fins. Look at that, folks. Yeah, that was. How oh, can you not get eye, excited about catching them in the winter? Oh. Look, they've never been caught, mate. Never ever seen an oak until I come along. <laughs> just, just amazing, man. Go on, you have one more cast, and then you are getting evicted. Not yeah. nice to me, is he, folks? Isn't it? <laughs> Not very nice. But what have a go? I think it's worth mentioning as well. Obviously, we talk about it all the time, you know, presentation-wise. Any slime whatsoever, get it off. Make sure there's nothing up your line. Change your bait every time. Mm. But Jamie, I have seen you we'll leave the pellet on. Yeah, well, pellets are pellets. They, they just stay on. That's why I'm tight. 
Ty, with all your dirty great big checks. What's up with your mum? Another observation. Go on. In fact, I will talk about it now. That you don't have a back rod rest either because you're so busy. Right, yeah, mate, definitely. I'm glad you touched on that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you notice my rod's obviously straight on my knees. So I can be straight into them lovely fishes. Yes. Oh, that is well wayward. I'm not even going to have that one, folks. I do apologise. <laughs> that was like, that was in Jamie's peg, gone into Richie's peg. Yeah, that was. That bloke's just got angry with us. I don't know what happened then. I took me out. I got giddy about not using uh, rest and I didn't tangle it and everything. No, oh, there we go. Yeah, I, um, not having that back rest means that you've got to be on the ball all the time yeah um so that you're straight into them fish because they will give you quick bites you know what i mean there's no you've seen there's no waiting around for them anything like that um whereas obviously carp fishing where you might well you might wait with you three days for a bite sometimes then you know what i mean so mm. that's why you can afford that rest that's better well, like that. that's, that's on that one that is definitely on but you know it's little things as well you know not sinking your line making sure you're in direct contact with that uh, that feeder all the time. Yeah, if you like the old traditional goes way. In, aren't you? Your line is straight yeah. all the way to the feeder. Straight to you never, it. The way you're casting and the way you're hitting the clip, yeah. your line's on the water straight away so you're directly in touch with any bites that happen. Definitely. Obviously the traditional way of casting a feeder, putting it in, sinking your rod tip in it and then sinking all that line. Yeah. Well, you, you, you're missing bites if you do that on this. You, you just can't yeah. afford to uh, do you're it. You're definitely in this little period of time has been your best period to get a bite yeah so if you just sunk your line you wouldn't have seen three out of four of them bites no 100 percent. so then thinking uh like that uh, all my bites well the last what what we're saying three fish i've had have been within what 90 seconds yeah so yeah, I'm, really quick. I'm gonna do a cast every sort of two two and a half minutes now it's pointless waiting that little bit longer if you know in the long run you can catch a, have a flurry of fish catching yeah. a lot quicker does that make sense yeah it'd be far more efficient Lovely. picking no, up when your bikes are coming i like you know that that was quite technical uh, it, maybe it's technical for me i don't even know what i've just said <laughs> i'm trying to try, trying to go through it in my head what have i just said that yeah. that made sense to me that yeah but I no mean, it's something like that to, to bear in mind time management isn't it that? definitely so i'm leaving it i'm going to leave it another 20 seconds we'll probably give it one more twitch and we're going to come back and chuck it in again but i'm going to change maggots color dying to catch on them whites man i'm going to catch on a white so i was literally just about to wind that back and it's gone but i think that's what i'm going to do well if i'm allowed another cast i think jay's quite like you can i will allow one more and then he's going to kick me off before rod is stolen how dare he uh, yeah i'm going to go for two two and a half minute cast now it just it's the right thing to do there's a, there's a few fish there and we can just get into them a lot quicker so a bit, oh. This this was on the bottom, wasn't it? It was a lot longer. This bite, lot, uh. fell off. But it was a little fish that. That was something different, maybe. Or a... I think it was a. I think it was a tench or something like that. Though. Was it? It was definitely a different fish that didn't Wouldn't, have it on the settle. Wouldn't an eyed. Right, mm. white maggots, floaty white magawars. Get ready for this then. This is instant chub. Instant chub, this Jay. Are you, you ready? Catching chub. I'll be impressed if you call a chub and catch it. I'll be well impressed. Get ready, that's all I'm saying, mate. Instant chubby. And the floaty white magawars. We're on it. We are on it. Floaty white. Go on, go on the instant chub. Within, what we're we giving it? Are we giving it? I'm going to give it 53 seconds there. I am, then it's going. It's going. I'm feeling a quick one. I'm feeling a bite like, now. Instant chub. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chub don't muck about. They come to the splash. John Wilson told me that with them slugs. Is it? <laughs> and his strep pecking. Yeah. And his, uh, and his mashed bread. Oh. Oh, what are we on there? Oh. Oh dear, technical hitch. I think we might have uh, a leaf or something there. Oh, we've catched... we got a little baby pear. We've catched a leaf or something, leaf. or a twig. Well, that's going to happen, that's just this time of year, isn't it? Well, they like maggots, don't they? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to change my bait for that. Far looked it anyway, so we don't need to change our bait for that one, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> 53 seconds again, I'm sticking with it. Do you want the white bag of ours? That, that, I like that. That would be a little bit closer, even. That was like, yeah, Chubb's going to come out of that. Stretched a bit further it. forward, then, didn't I? Mm. Yeah, 
کم از چوب است. Oh, was that you? That was me, that. How, I can't get angle of the angle from here. Out of your tip, just a little tiny bend. I don't, I mean, obviously the wind's going to dictate a little bit like that with me not sinking it, Jay, but yeah, I don't like having a bend in it hardly at all. Do you? Pretty and much I'll just pick that, that line up. Yeah, because yeah. I, I want to pick out on like little lines and all that, and I don't want to spook the fish either. You yeah. know what I mean? You think the more bend you have when you're fishing like this, they can feel a bit sometimes and yeah. reject it? Yeah, 100%. Mm. There's no coincidence that, you know, certainly carp fishing, uh, when you have a bit of a bend in it and you start seeing a few lines, when you slacken off, you get a bite pretty quick yeah. after that. Definitely. It, it's the yeah. same with this, obviously, you know, smaller fish, silver fish, definitely yeah. pay. That's I'd why. definitely buggers for feeling resistance and getting oh. rid. We know that from fishing shallow from them, don't we? 100%, mate. 100%. So you're not on these white magawars today, mate? No, that's, it's that spell, isn't it? You had that little spell of activity. Yeah. And now you'll have five or six casts of nothing, and then you'll get another one probably, won't you? Another little yeah. run. It's that sort of day, isn't it? See, that dunk in your maggots doesn't half help, it? You literally get none. No. Falling out on the way. No, hardly any. Mm. You're coming out just where See, we want to. In the, the rock bottom winter as well. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I've got Jay, a couple go of thingy. When it's proper freezing, 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 I've got a few little maggot feeders that I've drilled all the bottom out of. You know, to make the holes twice as big. Oh, have you? Yeah, just for when it is rock bottom and they're not coming out the, uh, the feeder at all. What's that for, like, pinkies when you're using them? So it's just normal maggot. When you feel like 10 maggots. maggots and it's, like, frozen nearly and you think nothing's going to move in. So here. the maggots aren't even... As soon as you dink them, they're like, ah, yeah, stunned. Let's... I think the water's that cold that they just... <laughs> 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 they just instantly retract and shrivel as soon as they touch the water. <laughs> like something else that we won't We mention. all know what we're on about, yeah. So. <laughs> Always turn it around you, Jay, don't you? <laughs> Always twist it. Filthy, yeah? Oh, there's another one. What are you doing? Right, come on, you're getting I think the small fish moved in, folks. They're not, they're hide. Hide, but honestly, I haven't hide. Hides yeah. and roach, they're just... Come on, I want to go. Are you so having a go? Hopefully, yes, I'm going to nick a go in a second. Come on, well, yeah, then, that's mate. a nice little insight. I've enjoyed that for, you know what I mean? Just seeing how the subtle changes can lead to, to bites rather than, or fish in the net rather than just bites, innit? Yeah, Dicking about your length, your bait, having options, even if it all looks the same. I know, there's hardly any, well, there's, there's nothing there. There's like some maggots, but it's the difference between them and them in there. And then obviously that dictates to what you're catching. You're seeing obviously like colours. Yeah. I 100% thought I'd get a bite instantly on a white maggot. You know, I've got so much confidence in them, but it's not right, it's not right. No, it's pointless not staying with someone, it's not right, isn't it? Yes, they tell you what you want to know. I enjoyed that. That was a nice little treat gonna... of the maggot feeder for this time of year, wasn't it? He's going to kick me off, isn't he, folks? Yep. Come on. 